Good afternoon, this is DJ Trend, and you're now witnessing all the college radio has to offer on this show. It goes by the name of the topic. I'm gonna to begin the topic with a segment. It goes by the name of Local to Global. This is a part of the show where you out there can influence the dreamers here on the topic in their quest to go from local gatherings to a global cult-like following. But as I always say, it begins with that sweet, sweet support, y'all. You know, all that love and that tenderness. As of now, I only have one dreamer in the studio with me today. She goes by the name of Abigail. Abigail was kind enough to send me a video last week. It captivated my attention within two seconds. See, Abigail reminds me of a canary bird, just not as pitchy. She has the sweet sound and voice of a canary bird. Thank Abigail, you. would you be kind enough to address the ladies and gentlemen? Hello, everybody. How is everybody doing on New Year's Eve? I'm Abigail Jerry. <laughs> All right, on the Abigail. topic. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> yes, she was kind enough to come through. So we're going to get right into it. Um, can you tell me about some of your upcoming projects and events? Um, well, events, I was just at the Hard Rock um, a week or two ago for their Christmas show. Upcoming, I have a single dropping called Ancient in February. That's the first single off of my upcoming project um, album, probably. And I'm working on shooting videos with a few backup dancers for that one. Oh, wow. So I'm pretty <laughs> excited about that. Yeah, I'm going to be, because um, my last project, Take a Chance, was like more pop country, and this upcoming one is going to be more like pop R&B and more dance like and more probably more for the college kids too. Oh yeah. So, so I'm good. really I'm really excited <laughs> about it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's great. So it seems as if are already now based off what you said that you're pretty versatile. Yeah. And that reminds me of Are you familiar with uh, Post Malone? You know, you know the White Iverson guy? Yeah. This guy, he he did like five different genres. He has country, R&B, rock, and rap. I'm like, wow, he's a talented as well. I love people that can um do everything like that shows a true artist to me like you're not just you. stuck on one genre you have the talent to express yourself in, in music through different types of genres and that's rare but I'll tell you what um who would you call your inspiration and why which artist like pick one artist well it can be as many as you want um Nelly Furtado definitely because she's you know started out with country-ish and, and she got in with Timbaland and did Promiscuous and that was really cool and I was like oh she does she does a bunch of stuff um Christina Aguilera her voice is so strong and I was always like I want to sound like her you know I want to sound like Abigail Jerry too but yeah. <laughs> um yeah so those two are very big influences there's a lot but those two right off the top of my head Life for title I'll have to check her out but um <laughs> wait, she's um, very versatile like me personally, I take a lot of care in like the community and making the world a better place. Like, cause a lot of people I feel as though don't. So my question is like, once you make it big, I speak things into existence. I believe you're gonna make it. I believe everyone, if they put the dedication and show the mind and the heart and they apply it to their dreams, they can accomplish them. I believe the human mind is great and it's powerful. It so once you make it big, do you have plans on giving back to a community or any type of social movement? Um, Actually, I haven't thought much, much, much into that, but I did think into it a little bit. Um, PETA, <laughs> I'm a very, very animal, I'm a vegetarian, so right. <laughs> I'm very animal friendly and all that stuff. So um, I don't know if it would be specifically with PETA, but I would definitely want to do something to help animal, like animal shelters or, you know, something with that. And obviously, I would want to give back to my city in some you know, some way with the people, I would definitely always, 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 always support like my fellow local artist friends, you know, always, right, always, yeah. no help matter what. Help each other rise. No matter what. Yes, build a platform for each other, help, <laughs> help each other rise. Yeah. Okay, I have this Take a Chance EP in my hand right now. Take a Chance. And one thing's first, I love the, um, first thing's first, I love the cover art. I'm um, gonna say, is, it, is this you as Tinkerbell or is this you as an angel? <laughs> That's just, um, I actually, there's a full moon in the corner there. It's Take a Chance. And it's Take a Chance because, well, I guess we'll get into that later. But um, Take a Chance, the full moon, you know, it's, there's a full moon out. So Take a Chance anyway, no matter, you know, full moon. It's it could be dangerous, whatever. Um, 
I don't have any clothing on because <laughs> I'm just vulnerable and, you know, just... Uh, that that basically take, explains the risks of yeah. taking a chance. You know, yeah. it, it shows that you're vulnerable. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm clothing, I'm clothless, but I'm still taking a chance and it's <laughs> yeah. a sign of risk and it shows that... Yeah. Like I said, you're vulnerable and you can and you're exposed. So. It's just me. And yes. then and the <laughs> wings are just because I'm about to fly. And they're broken because they're broken oh, in the wow. middle there. Because um even though, you know, I've been through things, you know, everybody's been through things. In life you gotta still keep going and get your wings together and take a chance. Right, and there's a song on there called Broken too. So So would you wanna um since you let me you let me into the song Break Broken. Um, is that a song you want me to play? Like, can we, like, can we uh, expose that to the ladies and gentlemen right now? Yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen out it's there. It's a very please. real, vulnerable song. All right, thanks for tuning in. We're going to play Broken by Abigail right now. Why isn't it playing? That's show business. <laughs> You're really good. You, like, definitely have a radio personality. Really? Yeah, right, yeah, you do. I hope I'm doing good. Oh, yeah, you're doing great. <laughs> is this on? Is the microphone? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I need to like loosen up. All right, welcome back. Welcome back. That was Broken by Abigail. I love that song. I love that song. I really do. Thank you. Thank you. And I want to know what is your writing process for Broken and all of your other songs? So, um, usually, so I've been writing since I was like five or six. And the first song that I wrote was about the color pink because it was my favorite color. So I just usually write lyrics like poems pretty much and then um, go into the studio and put the music to it behind that. But lately, you know, I get people that, producers that, you know, want to work with me or whatever and um, obviously they're really good and I'll write to the music. So it can go either way. Um, and usually I write about personal experiences. So that writes great. So when, when did you say you started uh, p performing again? Did you? Performing? Um, I mean, I did musicals when I was like eight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but performing my original songs with a band when I was about 16 right. was my mom's friend's band. And he let me jump up on stage with him sometimes at his gigs. And now I have like my own band, so. Wow. Yeah. So that gave you that uh, good years of experience. Yeah, definitely. All right, and um, so far as what is your overall goal uh, with music? Like, are you planning on becoming a superstar? I mean, I believe everyone wants to be, or is it something behind the scenes? Because some people say that, although I love to perform, I wouldn't want to be a superstar. I would only want to be a ghostwriter, or yeah. I want somebody else to be the star, and I'm just in the behind the scenes because I can't deal with the pressure. Some people will actually say that to me. Yeah. So I'm wondering, what is your overall goal with music? Well, I just want my music to reach as many people as possible, and however that is, I'm learning that you cannot predict the future, and you cannot predict, you know, how you're going to quote-unquote make it, or, you know, you just can't. So I just want to reach as many people with my music as possible, and I hope that it impacts people in a positive way. Um, yeah, because music definitely impacted me in a positive way growing up. I needed it. Yeah, I would say that music at times it, it's very healing. If it's that right song, even if it's a party song, it make you it can make you feel free. Yeah. Uh, it can calm you down after the stresses of the of the day. And then a song that's actually meant to heal, like maybe like a J Cole song. Like for instance, um, he made that song. What's it called? Love Yours. And I can teach a human being how to appreciate what they have. So music is healing if it's used productively, and even not productively. It all depends on what the person is using it for, I believe. But um. We've been on for a while, and um, tell me, so can you tell um, ladies and gentlemen some of your social media names, like where they can they contact you? Yes, they can, of course. Um, Twitter, Abigail underscore Jerry, J-E-R-R-I. Instagram is the same, Abigail underscore Jerry. And YouTube, you just, you know, type in my name. I'm not sure what the URL is for that yet, but I do have a YouTube channel, and it's just Abigail Jerry. Facebook is... My Facebook fan page is, the URL is facebook.com slash abigailjerry94. All right, that's Abigail's. I'm going to tell y'all mine. <laughs> Since Abigail got all the shine, I want a little bit of love, too. I'm sensitive. You can find me at Twitter under DJ underscore trend. 
As far as Facebook, it is my real name, but don't send me no letters or take my name and get a credit card or something. It is Clarence Jones on Facebook, C-L-A-R-E-N-C-E-J-O-N-E-S on Facebook. I don't have Instagram because I'm too ugly for that. I just don't like taking, not ugly, but I just don't like taking photos all day. Like Some people just want to take a selfie in the mirror and, and admire themselves. I, I don't have that type of... Is it a food? Of the booth. Of oh, the booth. Oh, yeah. That's, that's I am eating be Skittles right now, so I could have said food. But. Yeah, the Skittles. Uh, that's one of my favorite candies, actually. But, um, well, we're going to get into another one of Abigail's songs off Take a Chance, her EP, with a beautiful cover art. May I say that again? May it is I called, it? yes, it is called Forget It. Today I was out, just driving around. Nowhere to go, that's what I do. I'm feeling down I saw you with her Just knocked me down more I knew there was a reason That for you I wasn't sure